Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss lead code question, greatest common divisor of strings. So here we are given two string S and T and we need to find a greatest common divisor that can divide string S, uh, string str1 and also string str2. So now uh, the definition of uh, greatest common divisor is given here. That let's say T divides S if and only if S equal to T plus T plus T plus T up to T. That means the concatenation of T uh, of a string t with one or more times should form s. So if that is the case, then we can say t is the greatest common divisor of a string s. So here for a two string str1 and str2, we need to find x, a string x that can divide both str1 and str2 and that is common in both, right? So let's take a look at the first example. So if you see this str1, so uh, what are the string that it, it divides? It is divided by itself, right? abc, abc. And also ABC, this segment also divides the complete string because ABC is repeated, right? If you only take AB, is AB repeated after this? No, this is CA, right? AB is not repeated. But as you can see here, ABC is repeated. So we can say ABC is a divisor of the string str1. Here uh, also ABC is divisor. A string itself can divide itself. Uh, uh, so we can say ABC is divisor of str2. And the common divisor that is common in both str1 and str2 is abc so we return abc as our answer now looking at the second test case here we have ab uh, ab and ab so uh, by seeing this we can see that uh, ab is a uh, common in all right you can't take ab ab because uh, here only ab is there for them not ab ab so you can only take ab right the first two characters these are the divisor of str1 Similarly, the divisor of str2 is ab and the complete string ab ab, right? So, uh, the common divisor of both is ab. So, we return ab as our answer. In uh, the third example, there is no uh, such substring that can divide the complete string. So, the only divisor of str1 is leet, lit. Uh, and uh, similarly, the greatest divisor of str2 is code itself, the string itself. So, there is no common divisor of str1 and 2, that's we return another string, okay? Uh, now let's say you have this type of example uh, so as you can see here thus uh, the substrings or the strings that uh, divisor strings for this str1 possible are ab ab can divide the complete string because it is repeated ab 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 you can also take the complete ab ab because this complete ab ab is uh, repeated so it can be ab ab and the on the last option is this the complete string ab ab a B A B. Okay, so these three are the possible divisor of the string str1. Now for str2, one divisor is A B and one divisor is co complete string, right? A B A B. So the common divisor between str1 and 2 are A B and A B A B, right? These two. And the greatest of them is A B A B, right? So we return here A B A B as our answer. So I hope you guys understood the question of how we are solving this. Like uh, the, we, we will solve this question pretty much straightforward. We will check uh, for all the divisor of str1, str2 and we will select the greatest length among them. Uh, that is common, right? So I hope you guys understood the question uh, and now discuss, uh, let's discuss the approach. So the approach will be similar as you can see here that we will try to from different um, possible substrings that are the divisor of the string and we will check if, it, if uh, repeating this string will form this string or not. Let's say uh, here only, so because as you know that repeating AB, 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 means repeating AB four times, you will get str1, right? So what we will do, we would take, uh, we would for, form a uh, substring, right? And we would try to repeat, see, form different substring, right? Then repeat the substring. If on repeating the substring, we get um, uh, we repeat the substring. Then let's say this form uh, temp string, and if this temp equal equal to str1 and and uh, and one temp to let's say and t2 equal equals to str2, then we got our answer. Then answer is uh, uh, this uh, answer is this this substring is our answer. Let's say this substring is. Um, x1 so we would return x1 is our answer right 
x1 is a substring on repeating substring we form temp and temp2 uh, then if temp equal equal to string1 and temp2 equal equal to string2 then we would return the substring as an author got it so i hope you guys understood the approach as well we are simply doing the thing that if it is checking if it is a repeating or not uh, one thing to note here is we would also check the length length of s1 comma length of this uh, substring x1 right why why we need to do that see uh, let me show you by an example if you have a string like this a b c a b c let's say this is a string and your substring x1 it is let's say um uh, this is six length okay let's say it is of length 4 let's say it is uh, a b c a now this is of length 6 this is of length 4 then now as you can see here 4 or repeating 2 twice also you will not form 6 you will never get 6 because 6 modulus uh, 4 equal to 2 2 is a remainder so whenever the remainder is not 0 then we won't we won't do this step so if uh, we would do this step if remainder is 0 so let me show you if you take here instead of uh, a b c a if you would have taken a b c so then this is the length 3 now 6 modulus 3 equals to 0 why why we can take this because 3 plus 3 means uh, 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 applying this 3 twice we can get a string of length 6 whatever may be the answer but this is possible right but in the case of the string x1 of length 4 you won't be ever able to form a string of length 6 so if you would have also taken x is equal to a b of length 2 then you know 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6 means you will be able to form a, a string of length 6 of the original length but here in this case you won't be able to form okay so we will do we will check with the modulus and if the modulus is uh, true then we will further check uh, for by repeating let's say by repeating x1 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 so by repeating is if this is equal to s tier 1 or not so we will check that Right? So I hope you guys understood the approach and also the smallest part like it is if condition why we are checking this. So I hope that is clear now. So now let's move on to the coding part. So here in the coding part I will discuss the three different solution to you. But let's first begin with uh, the current solution that we have discussed. Let me take L1 as the length of string 1 and L2 as the length of string 2. Now we will traverse from i equal to minimum of length 1, l2, my i should be greater than equal to 1 and i minus minus. Okay, and we will take if a, a valid str1, str2 and i. Then what we would do, we would simply return str1.sub str of 0 to i. So what we are doing here is here we are taking a substring from the end uh, because let's say uh, here what we are doing here we are taking a substring uh, from here let's say this complete substring then we are checking this substring yes we are reducing the size of the substring as we are uh, traversing in this for loop right because we need to find the greatest length of common divisor so let's say here the if we found greatest length a b a b then we won't check for a b see if, if you found a b a b is our answer then checking for a b is uh, is a waste of time right so traversing from end we would just keep this character then this character then this character from the substring and check the remaining is this a valid substring or not right so that's why we are simply returning once we get our answer because it will be the largest substring possible okay yeah now let's code for this valid function boo valid string s1 string s2 int k Okay, here also let us take L1 as a size of S1, L2 as a size of S2. Okay, now if L1 modulus k is greater than 0 or, or L2 modulus k is greater than 0, then you won't be able to form a string, uh, a string L, S1 or S2 or by even by repeating. So we will return false. Answer is not possible. And in that condition, we will take one, let's say st string repeat equals to s1 dot substring from 0 to k and we would repeat this right how many times we need to repeat 
so uh, that would be l1 divided by k times and t2 is the l2 divided by k times so uh, if on repeating let's say uh, on joining this repeat string t1 time equal equals to s1 and so that means by repeating this uh, repeat string t1 times you need you should form this s1 string and similarly by repeating this uh, repeat string t2 times you must get s2 string then we would return true else we would return false right i hope you guys understood till here now the only thing we here left is to uh, form this join function and what the, this join function will do it will simply return a string so string join uh, let us take s as the input and int times uh, is the number of times you need to re repeat s okay and let me simply uh, do for int i equal to 0 i is less than times comma i plus plus and here let me take one temporary string and what we would, I would do temp plus equal to s and we would re return temp okay now yeah i think everything looks good now let me try to run this code okay minimum of l1 l2 okay here int i would be there small s also one thing remaining here is when here if we don't found anything then we will return empty string right okay the test cases are passed now let me try to submit this okay so our code got accepted uh, so this was one approach where we took a uh, took a substring we repeated it and we found that if on repeating this by t1 times we can get s1 or not and similarly on repeating by t2 times we get s2 or not so this is one way to find the greatest common divisor of the string s1 and s2 means that is common of s1 and s2 right so the another way of doing the same thing would be uh, here uh, so so this is the second approach that I tried see here what I did I took uh, a te I took a temp string I tried to find all possible substring that is uh, that is repeating means uh, uh, that is repeating uh, uh, so if if it is a repeating means if uh, means I try to find all this combination that can divide this string str1 and I stored this in a vector of string so for I did the same for str1 and str2 and the greatest length of string that is common in both the vectors uh, uh, then I that I that it would be your answer right so this is one other approach to solve this question uh, by finding all of this and taking the best uh, uh, common substring from them and the third possible answer is by using the inbuilt function gcd so by this way you can also use the inbuilt function gcd uh, to get our answer and here we have this base this as a base condition see if a string is repeating then if you append the string to at the end of string one and similarly uh, you do here then they must be equal if they are not equal then there is no way uh, possible to find a common string that can divide both right so yeah these were the three different approaches to solve this question now talking the time or complexity about this approach so here we are running a loop uh, let's say n times uh, the minimum of, of l1 and l2 so let's say it is l1 here and here also we are repeating this uh, thing uh, by joining this so overall what uh, we can see in the worst case our time complexity uh, would be l1 into l1 plus l2 so i have assumed that minimum of l1 comma l2 is l1 right and space complexity so uh, so say space complexity and yes the space complexity would be uh, the minimum of l1 comma l2 because that many times only we are storing here in the this time right so that would be the minimum of this two length L1 and L2. So I hope you guys understood the equation, the approach as well as the solution for this. So yeah, that's all for this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.